In this video, we are going to discuss about the classification of signals. That means how signals are classified that we will discuss here. So now see the classification. So basically signals are classified into six different types. So here according to the nature we classified like this. So here we are having continuous time and discrete time signals and the deterministic and non-deterministic. Non-deterministic is nothing but random signals and even and odd signals, periodic and aperiodic signals and energy signals and power signals and real and imaginary signals. Coming to continuous time and discrete time signals, for a continuous time signal, we can define the value of that signal or we can define the amplitude of that signal at any instant of time. We already discussed about this in the previous classes also as an example. So here in discrete time systems, so we can't determine uh, the value of the signal at all instants, so only at a discrete intervals of time we can determine that signal so remaining intervals we can't determine the signal for example if you are having signal like this so if you are having a signal like this like sine wave or anything you can determine this signal amplitude if this is x of t for example here this is 1 and here this is 2 so you can if you want your signal at 0.1 then definitely by taking the reference line you can imagine the amplitude of that signal. So this is called as continuous time signal whereas in case of discrete time signals the discrete signal will be like this. So you are having just samples with a particular voltage so at discrete intervals only that uh, that means here for example this is 1 2 3 4 only at discrete intervals you are having some amplitude that means uh, uh, a sample with amplitude you may have at a particular discrete interval for example if you want to determine the value of this discrete signal at 0 0.1 you are going to you are not going to determine that means you uh, you are unable to determine that signal so this is the uh, main difference between continuous and discrete time signals so in the next classes we will discuss one by one in this classification with the examples now you you can take a small description about each and every uh, classification here and the second classification is deterministic and non-deterministic simply we can say deterministic is the meaning of uh, if you define if you can define a signal by using a mathematical equation then you can say that is deterministic that is simple uh, logic for deterministic for example if you are having this signal then you can say with an equation that means x of t equal to you can say that is sin t or cos t you can uh, you can say like that so if signal is, is determined means if we can give any equation mathematical equation if we can represent with any mathematical equation then it is said to be deterministic for example if you are having a signal like this so if you are having a signal like this so this may be a signal so this is a time varying physical phenomenon which is intended to convey information but we are not having any proper relation in between the components change that means so this is not at all a ramp not at all a sine wave not at all a dc signal so this is said to be a random signal that means so non-deterministic signal we can't determine with a particular relation or particular mathematical relation by using a particular mathematical relation we are not going to determine this signal we can't determine this signal so this is the simple differentiation uh, difference between deterministic and non-deterministic signal so coming to even and odd signals so even signal is nothing but x of t is equal to x of minus t that means if you reverse the signal so whatever we saw in operation on signals so reflection time uh, uh, time reversal if you done time reversal also if you are getting the same signal then that is said to be even signal that means for example if you are having this signal so if this is a signal so from minus 2 to 2 this is x of t if you done reversal also you are getting same thing right so that is called as even signal for example if you are having this signal if you are having this signal if you reverse the time then you are not getting the same signal whatever signal you are going to get that will be in this side so 
this is not even signal this is only the event signal so generally how uh, we can uh, we can say that is a even signal by just watching the diagram means so it's uh, have balancing that means both in negative and and uh, positive axis both in uh, negative axis and positive axis we are having balancing in the diagram so you can you can see here so you are having a perfect balance whatever you are having in the negative axis same thing we are having in the positive axis so by uh, watching that diagram itself we can say that is even signal so similarly here if you observe we are not having a perfect balance in between uh, this negative axis and positive axis so definitely we can't say this is a even uh, even signal this is the odd signal the simple uh, definition for this even and odd is if it is even if it is even your signal must be is equal to reflection of your signal that means x of minus t if this signal is odd then x of t should be equal to minus x of minus t so this is the relation of even and odd signal so here if x of t is equal to x of minus t then the signal is said to be even signal if any signal satisfied this condition that means x of t equal to minus x of minus t then that particular signal is said to be a odd signal now coming to periodic and aperiodic signals as the name indicates if the signals are going with a particular period that means particular time period then those signals are said to be periodic signals and the remaining that means so uh, inverse of that that means uh, whatever the signals with the, which are not going with a uh, constant time period those are called as a periodic signals for example if you are having a sine wave if you are having a sine wave so if this sine wave repeats for each time interval t then that is called as periodic signal for example if you are having any signal like this so that means uh, for example so here one peak uh, is completed one cycle is completed for t but here in t by 2 time cycle if another cycle is completed this is not said to be periodic this is a periodic so a periodic signals and periodic signals we will discuss later with uh, um, how to check periodicity this is very very important topic for technical exams also like gate so here next classification in this is energy signals and power signals so whatever signals we are having so that may be energy signals or power signals if that is a ener energy signal if one signal is a energy signal definitely that can't be a power signal if one signal is a power signal so that can't be a energy signal so a signal can't obey both energy and uh, power at a time a signal may be energy or power signal so here in a real and imaginary signal you know that for example your x of t is equal to so just a we are having some uh, value or anything like this or sin t like that so then that is said to be um, real signal if you are having any imaginary quotient like i a plus j i like this if you are having that imaginary constraints or if you saw uh, any imaginary quotients in your equation of your signal then definitely that uh, particular signal corresponding to that equation is uh, related to imaginary signal so this is short description about this classification of signals from next class on onwards we will discuss one by one with examples